Hello and uh, welcome back. So from our last video, we discussed about how to get started with Azure OpenAI. From there, we covered what is this service and why we should use it. And also we talk about how to request and get access to uh, this service. And also we deployed uh, Azure OpenAI resource uh, from the portal and also, uh, then we did a little bit of workaround with uh, OpenAI Studio. So if you have not watched that video, I recommend you to go back and watch it because uh, some of those steps are prerequisites for this video. So from this video, we are going to discuss about how to use uh, Azure OpenAI with the LangChain uh, library. So. Uh, let's move to the notebook. All right. So how to use uh, this Azure uh, OpenAI service with LangChain is provided in the LangChain document itself. So if you go to the documentation under the modules, model IO, language models, LLMs, and integrations, you can see Azure OpenAI is there. So there you can get information on how to configure uh, Azure OpenAI uh, along with the lang chain. So here we have to set some of the environment variables and then we have to call the LLM model and then uh, we can use it. So let's go through uh, these steps. So I will move back to the uh, notebook. All right, so this is the notebook. So the first step we need to do is configuring the environment. So obviously we need to install the OpenAI and lang chain libraries just to use uh, this for the text generation and for the other steps we need other libraries so i will install those libraries in those steps so next uh, we can import the os and lang chain library so we need to import os because we, first we have to set up all these uh, keys so according to the documentation we have to set uh, all these four uh, keys all these four uh, environment variables so the first one is OpenAI API type. So this need to be set as Azure. So this is uh, this is not changing. It need to be set as the Azure. And next, uh, OpenAI API version. So this one uh, again, uh, we need to set it to the latest uh, API version. So with that, we can get the most updated models. So this date actually is given in the lang chain uh, documentation. So here it has been given. So uh, this can be changed uh, definitely. So you can refer to the documentation if the date is updated. And after that, uh, we need to set these two values. So these two values, uh, OpenAI API base, as well as OpenAI API key. So these two things, the endpoint and the secret key of uh, Azure OpenAI, we need to uh, extract them from the Azure portal. So let's move to the Azure portal. So from there, I will tell uh, where you can find the endpoint as well as the secret key. So if you go to the Azure portal, so uh, as you have already created the Azure OpenAI resource, so from the last video, uh, we covered that part. So you can click on the Azure OpenAI and then uh, you can select on the your deployed uh, Azure AI service. So I will select it. And right, so you will be redirected to this uh, page. So from here in this side panel, you can click on the keys and endpoint. So if you click on that, you will be redirected to this one and there you have the keys. So you can use either of these keys as the API key. And next uh, endpoint, again, you can use this one. So the API endpoint, this, uh, web link, you need to use it as the uh, OpenAI API base. And next, uh, this uh, one of these keys, you can copy and use it as uh, API key. So that's how you can set uh, these environmental variables. All right, so I will scroll down. Uh, next, we can uh, configure the LLM uh, with the Azure, all these uh, environmental variables. So, all right, so here we need to import Azure OpenAI, uh, which is listed as a large language model under LangChain. And also I will 
uh, import the prompt template and uh, LLM chain in order to use it for the language generation. So next we can initialize uh, Azure OpenAI LLM like this. So there again, we need to give two values. The first one is the engine. The next value is the uh, model name. So these two values, again, we need to extract from the uh, Azure portal. So in order to do that, uh, you can go back to your Azure portal. And so I will go back to the overview. So uh, in order to do that, we need to go to the uh, Azure OpenAI Studio. So I will click on it. All right, so here uh, now we are in the Azure uh, OpenAI uh, Studio. So from here, you have to go to the deployments. So in the deployments, uh, you can see the deployments that you already done. So, uh, so from these deployments, you have to uh, extract the values for the engine and the model name. So for example, if you are looking at the, the deployment that we did on the last video, uh, this is a, a GPT 3.5 turbo model so that we deployed. So if you have not uh, uh, created a deployment, you can create new deployment from this uh, option here. So basically, if you have already deployed some model, uh, you can click on it. And inside that uh, this information, you can find the model name uh, like this. And also you can find the engine uh, from here. So those are the two values. So the engine need to be uh, the deployment name, and then uh, the model name need to be the uh, model that you are using. So you can copy those values uh, from here. And this is the chat model that we are using for the language generation. So again, we are also uh, creating a document question answering uh, example as well. So for that, we cannot use this a GPT 3.5 turbo model because it's a chat model. So for that, we need to create an embedding model. So here I have created uh, this text model as an embedding uh, model. So if you have not created an embedding model, you can uh, create it from here, create new model. And so from here, you can select the text embedding uh, ADA 002, and then you can give name and uh, create an embedding model as well. So this one we need to uh, we, we should use this uh, embedding model for our document question answering. So for now, for the language generation, uh, we have to copy the model name from here and then the deployment name from here. All right, so that's uh, the engine and model name uh, values. Next, we can uh, give a template like this. You are an uh, intelligent supportive assistant. Answer the questions uh, for the best uh, you can. So also you can put... Uh, you can also append another uh, sentence like this because sometimes it try to generate more uh, more uh, text uh, than we uh, wanted. So we can get rid of such uh, occasions with this kind of a sentence. All right, so next move to, uh, yeah. So after uh, initializing the template, you can create a prompt and then uh, you can uh, connect it with the LLM chain. And next, we can simply do the language generation. So again, uh, so here I'm asking create a tagline for a coffee shop. So uh, it gives the tagline like this, wake up with energy. So likewise, you can use it for the language generation. All right, so that's how we can initialize Azure LLM with uh, LangChain, and then we can use it for the various uh, text generation uh, tasks. All right, uh, next, let's move to a document q &A example as well. So our previous videos also, we have covered a lot the document question answering. So I will quickly show how we can use uh, Azure OpenAI uh, and LangChain for the document uh, Q&A. So first we need to install uh, the libraries that we want for the document Q&A. And also I am mounting the Google Drive. So this is for reading a PDF document from the Google Drive. And next, we can uh, import all the libraries, PDF loaders, uh, character splitters, and I'm also using the Chroma DB and vector DBQ chain. I'm using for the question answering, and also I'm importing the Open AI embeddings. All right. So next, we can load the uh, documents. 
So here I'm giving the link and uh, loading the documents and I'm using the pages and uh, character uh, text splitter. Then we can get all the documents. And from here, I am uh, building the Chroma uh, vector DB. So here you have to use the embeddings. So in this embeddings, you have to uh, use with the OpenAI embeddings. And from here, you have to specify the engine. So this one is our text, uh, our embedding model that we have deployed in Azure. So here in the deployments, uh, I have created this text model. So this is the model that I am using as the engine in our embedding uh, generation. So that's what I am using as the text model. And similarly, we can create, initiate the Chroma DB and then we can use vector db qa so here this document is again uh, regarding the australia the wikipedia article so here i'm asking how does the name australia derive so for this question i am getting the answer from this uh, pdf document the name australia is derived from the latin uh, terra australis likewise it gives the name from uh, this uh, information from the document itself so this use our chat model deployment from Azure, as well as our embedding model deployment uh, also from the Azure. Right, so that's how we can use this with the document question answering. Next, I will quickly move to the, how uh, we can use this with the agents as well. So here I'm using uh, Google search results, as well as uh, LLM math uh, modules to use, uh, to, see how agents are working with this Azure OpenAI uh, model. So here we can install this uh, Google search results library, and then we can uh, import the load tools, initialize agent and agent type uh, parameters from LangChain, and then we can set the search API key here. So this, this is, you can uh, create from the uh, Google search results uh, website. So this is again free to, uh, use so there's some restrictions but it is uh, free to use and then we can uh, create the tool so these things actually I have uh, covered in our uh, LLM uh, agents uh, video so you can refer to those videos if you have any questions with this and then uh, here we can initialize the zero shot uh, agent and with all these tools so here I'm using the SERP API as well as uh, LLM mapped and then uh, we can set the uh, zero short uh, agent like this. And then we can uh, run the agent with our Azure OpenAI LLM. So there is no difference. So this is pretty much similar to direct usage of uh, open uh, AI models. But here, but we are using our uh, hosted, our deployed models through the uh, Azure uh, deployment. So here I'm asking the famous uh, uh, agent uh, questions that we have in the uh, LangChain documentation. Who is Leo DiCaprio's new girlfriend? And what is her age rise to the 0 0.43 power? And also I'm giving additional uh, sentence to stop the process after the final answer. So it gives the answer like this. So, all right, so that's it from this video. So here we simply uh, discuss on how we can use Azure OpenAI uh, service through the LangChain, so where we can use it from the Python uh, and LangChain, which uh, also provide a lot of capabilities to use these uh, Azure OpenAI models with our various uh, use cases. So when we are doing more customized uh, stuff, these things will be important for us. So I will also put the link to this notebook in the description. So that's it from this video and thank you for watching and please make sure to like, subscribe and share this with your colleagues. So thank you and see you from another video.